In today's episode, we'll look into five powerful benefits of an easily available over-the-counter medication, the aspirin tablet in your garden, and a simple DIY homemade pesticide recipe if you do not have stocks of your regular pesticide during the lockdown period. Coming up. Technically, aspirin is not an organic solution. However, it is a safe and very inexpensive option that contains far fewer chemicals than the store-bought chemical products for gardening. I think most of us might have exhausted their regular pesticide stocks during this lockdown period, especially the great neem oil. Do not worry, watch this video till the end. Well, aspirin is chemically acetyl salicylic acid and medically a non-steroidal analgesic and anti-inflammatory medicine. It is inexpensive and easily available in almost all medical stores. So what is the actual concept behind using aspirin in gardening and farming? Salicylic acid is naturally found in willow bark and many other trees. Studies have found that the plant hormone salicylic acid is released in tiny amounts when the plants are in stress. So, this concept has been utilized and many benefits of aspirin have already been proven. Here we are using aspirin 350 mg dispersible tablet with brand names like Dispirin, Ecospirin, Bayer and so on. If you are not getting a dispersible tablet, you can crush the non-dispersible tablet and powder it and use it. On number 1. Aspirin for plant growth. Many university research studies have been conducted on this. They sprayed plants with an aspirin water once every three weeks for the course of an entire growing season and found that the plants sprayed with aspirin solution were found much bigger and had more fruits and flowers than their counterparts. So, how to use aspirin in your garden? You can dissolve one tablet of aspirin in one gallon of water and drench your plants with this solution once in a month. You can spray this solution on the leaves and also water your plants with this water. This enhances the immune system of the plants and helps them combating with pests and microbial attacks and prevents the formation of fungus leading to increased growth of plants and improves the overall health of your plants. On number 2. Aspirin improves seed germination. A low dose of aspirin water significantly improves seed germination and in one study the plants treated with aspirin water had a 100% germination rate while the plants that weren't treated with aspirin water had more inconsistent results. To make this solution or spray, drop half a tablet of a 300mg aspirin per gallon of water or a quarter tablet per litre of water and stir well. One method is to spray on the seeds already planted and another method is to soak the seeds in this solution for 1-2 to two hours before planting them. On number 3. Aspirin as a rooting hormone. As already discussed, salicylic acid is naturally found in willow bark and many other trees. Willow bark extract is being used since ages as a rooting agent to clone plant cuttings successfully. If you do not have rooting hormone powders like the naphthalene acetic acid and the indole butyric acid powders, you can use aspirin for this job. Take 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder from your kitchen and add it to 1 litre of lukewarm water and then drop in half a tablet of 300 mg aspirin and stir it well. Then dip the cuttings into this solution for about 30 to 60 minutes and then plant those cuttings into the soil. If you are trying to root cuttings in water, drop half a tablet of aspirin per litre of water. If you are changing the water, you need to again add half a tablet of aspirin into the container till the rooting starts. On number 4. Aspirin as an antifungal to treat blight in plants. Blight means a specific symptom affecting some plants like tomatoes and peppers due to infections by pathogenic microorganisms leading to rapid and complete chlorosis, browning and then the death of the plant tissues starting from the leaves, branches, flowers and fruits. The dosage for treatment is same that is one tablet per gallon of water as a spray or drench your plant with this water. On number 5. To keep cut flowers stay fresh for a longer time. Put a quarter tablet of aspirin in a vase with fresh cut flowers from your garden. This helps them to stay fresh longer. If the vase is larger add half a tablet. Now the pesticide spray. Take a large onion and drop it into a kitchen blender. 
then add four fresh cloves of garlic into this then add two teaspoons of red chili powder then add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder blend this into a fine paste by adding some water now add two cups of water into this and mix it well and then allow it to steep overnight then in the morning strain out the liquid using a nylon cloth or even a fine sieve to get the pesticide concentrate you can even store this concentrate in refrigerator to use this as a pesticide use it in 1 is to 5 dilution in water that is to one cup of this pesticide add five cups of water and most importantly do not forget to add some 10 drops of liquid detergent soap for the surfactant effect and to coat the leaves and retain the pesticide for a longer time use this twice weekly until all pests are eradicated this will successfully kill common pests like aphids mealybugs white flies and many others Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!